Hey there. Howdy. Hey. Come on in. Good to see y'all. Nice to see you. Alright, uh, I think the doctor went to like 10 to something, but he should be back over here very shortly. Okay. Uh, if you could just give it a, a minute or two. How are you feeling? Uh, feeling okay right now. Uh, been getting some good rest down there by the shore. Yeah, it's he pretty peaceful out there. Headaches under control. Good. Uh, if you want to follow me, I can go ahead and take you over to our med bay area. We can wait for him in there. All right. Y'all have it, uh, y'all have an impressive operation going on over here. Thanks. We're, uh, this isn't really completely out there yet, but, like, you know, the rumor mill's been going around, but we're working on getting a little bit of a settlement set up here. We're going to start accepting uh, citizens and things like that. We're just trying to get all the building and everything out of the way, you know? Yeah, I get that. Okay, so this is our medical facility. Uh, I do apologize for the lack of uh, things in here. Hey, knock knock. Got you another Hello. patient. Oh, good morning, sir. Howdy. All right. Um, wondered if I could borrow a a blood test kit. What you meant to run out? I meant to bring um, one myself. I can go. I can go on a quick run with Terry before we gather up the lumber. Uh, see if we can hit up some hospitals. We'll take um, a car. You know the trader over the way might be able to buy them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go do that instead. That's a quicker way to do it. Not sure how much that cost. Um, do you uh, need money? I got a little bit in my storage. Um, I haven't actually grabbed any. <laughs> Be right back, sorry. All right. Sorry. We we literally just got this set up. Uh, if you want to take a seat or anything? You can feel free to stand, do whatever you feel like. I'll take me a seat on the floor. That's all right. Yeah, there's also the other two free beds there. I ain't that sick, don't worry. Welcome back. Just gonna put it down in the floor. Okay, thank you, sir. Well, more than you need. Oh, I probably don't need the, the second Bring back the one. change. Oh my God. But, um... Oh, dang. Yeah. Uh, how many should I grab, like, with the rough number you need? Ten. Okay. Ten, dude. I'll see if Perry can assist me. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll give you two some privacy uh, before I go. This is a good place for you to be. Hey, Perry, hop out of the truck for one second. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Get you feeling better. I'll be back. Oh, uh, no. I was going to say before you hop in, can you open the gate? But Sorry. I'll get the gate for a little over a second there. there. I got it. I got it. So are y'all a faction? Um, you have to wait. A... Are you... Oh. We're a settlement. All right. All right. I meant to ask, are y'all just a settlement? You answered it. Yeah, we're a, we're a settlement slash, I guess, group of... Alright. So there's a group that holds the settlement kind of thing. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah. I, uh, if you I, wanted to I pop am, in a bed... I have been um, curious about this place. You want me to get in the bed? Um, yeah, just, uh... If you need somewhere to, if you want to put your guns down or anything like that, you can use that box over there. Just try not to take anything else from it. Oh. Uh, once I get a blood test kit, I will be able to check you out properly. And I'll take, okay, I'll buddy. take the... <laughs> there you go. So, I'll take the excess off. Just you tuck it at the bottom of the box if you feel more comfortable doing that. That should be good. It shouldn't be too long with them kids. Yeah, I was saying that it's a good place to be with the trader nearby. With you. Yeah, for real. Is he? All right, I'm. 
I guess I could use some more rest. Uh, I ain't sure. Nothing wrong with a bit of rest if you're not feeling well. Yeah. I'll just, uh, uh -huh. I'll just start telling my story. The symptoms I've got. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. So, yeah, um, you were, um, in your head. I get, a uh, so I, I arrived here in this land a few weeks ago. And in that time, shortly after, I come down with the flu. And I also get a wound infection. After a little bit of traveling and uh, contacting the right people, I'm able to get rid of it, and the symptoms go away. But it's like there's like just a general feeling of unwellness that lingers, even though I ain't like coughing no more, I ain't grunting no more. So okay. as the days go by. You know, I'm traveling around, doing my thing, and then the grunting comes back, and the coughing comes back. I start taking tetracycline and uh, vitamins, but they don't stop. And also the feeling of unwellness that lingers stays. Don't matter how many vitamins I take or how many mm. tetra I take. And things get worse as the days go on. I start occasionally vomiting up blood. Oh, okay. I start getting shivers. I get a high fever. And I'm like... Have you been... Have you been near the airfield or anywhere on the northern side of... No. Northern... Yeah, anywhere north. You haven't been anywhere north? I ain't been in any north red zone or anywhere near the gas, anywhere near those things. So anyway, as these symptoms start to pile up, I'm, I say, you know, I got to find out what's going on. So I, I take a blood test and then the, the results come back empty. The blood test says I ain't sick with anything. Things get worse. My friend, I meet up with my friend Samuel. Uh, you haven't met him yet. We start traveling up here in this direction. But on the way, I found out found out that uh, I'm starting to you know lose a little bit of my uh, my control of my mind. I start screaming uncontrollably occasionally, like you see all these uh, these infected people. Like people outside your base right now, they they shamble around, they they wail like zombies. Well, I mean like like animals. I start wailing like them. Uncontrollably, I, I can't help it. It's like a it's like a it's like a really bad twitch or like a convulsion almost. And as we're traveling up here, something happens. You know, I the vomiting blood starts to get more frequent. Uh. I start getting random cuts on me out of nowhere. I, I randomly pass out at one point. Um, give me a second. I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Don't follow me for uh, I'm back. Sorry about that. So yeah, I randomly pass out everything I told you, and all the while, the convulsions, they, they're coming back. They're, they're getting more frequent. Okay. It got to the point where I was getting so low on blood, I was going almost about to go feral almost, but Suddenly, I pass out again, but I wake up a few hours later, and the illness is way better. Are you cut? No. You don't think either, man. Uh, I'm, I'm a visitor. Doing really badly, bro. All oh, right. No. I'm, I'm... I know. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm just... I'll be right with you, I just need to really check him out, he's been doing really badly. Alright. Feeling a lot better now, I just need to never listen to their patients. What happened to you, Fred? This is kind of their job though, right? <laughs> Ran through a radiation zone. Oh, I'm sorry. God. Cured me on accident. I had no that... respirator. Well, I think they should take priority over you. Over to you, I, s I mean. Fred, you don't sound any better. Oh, well, my story ain't done yet. He's a, he's just a busy guy. No, you don't sound much better. Matter of fact, I think you sound a little worse than me. No, I was. Oh. Sorry. Uh. You're back in bed, buddy. I don't want you falling over on me, okay? Hope yeah, like that. Sorry. Now we're just waiting for the commander to get back with them blood test kits, so I can check his boat out properly. I feel like your cholera might have converted into something a bit worse than... And you're good to get to figure out what's going on with you, eh? Have a proper look at you. Uh... Can I finish the story first? Yes, go, go ahead, sorry. So pick up where I left off. I wake up hours later. Samuel had been tending to me. Good friend that he is. Uh, but the symptoms are all in remission. I feel more or less as I did before all the symptoms started picking up. But, you know, just that general feeling of unwellness is still there. And, you know, I still occasionally do get the the twitches and uh, some nasty coffin fits. So I know it's still there, whatever this is. Okay. And I know if if I don't Damn. if I don't act, like if, if if I just allow this to progress, it's just going to pick up yeah, again. Thank you very much, sir. So I'm going to be brutally honest with you. What you've described to me sounds a hundred percent like symptoms of infection of zombie disease. That, yeah, yeah. Besides the regression, I don't understand yeah, that. So I'm going to check you out. I, I don't quite, understand it Emily, either. But I don't want you to take this personally. I'm going to have Perry over there with his gun out just while we figure out what's going on. Just in case, lo and behold, you turn. Do the act of aggression is just a precaution. Yeah, do whatever you got to do. Hey, just let me check out Holmes, Holmes over here, because he is falling down of current. Be right with I, you. I should, I should be fine in a few minutes. Okay, so we could probably have all, like, not essential personnel, uh, give a little bit of privacy, but... What are you eating? ...inside the room. Um... You back on the guards and yeah. get uh, Dried cheesesteak. I'm just saying for a like, non essential thing. You have salmonella. What are you doing? How the fuck do I have salmonella? It's dried. It's all prepared right. I You're feel just playing fine. musical diseases, Justin, aren't you? Hawthorne? Really? Um, Not the best I'm gonna go ahead player. and step out. If you need me, give me a call over the radio, alright? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do something to you that I don't normally do. If you come over to the box with me, please. Don't like the way that sounds. When I overdrive you, sis. We're gonna kick your system in the ass, basically. Like that. One more. And this one. Alright, get back in bed. Alright. You like the medical credit bill for you, Dr. C? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. It's kind of... I got my gun in it right, right now. Right. Sometimes bullets are medicine. Alrighty. 
Let's get your blood checked out. Make sure there's nothing right. else going on with you. That's what and I've then been we can look into for. the the rest of what's going on. Don't mind me. Not meant to be threatened. A negative, a negative blood. That's not bad. Yeah. Other than what you described to me, you seem to be in quite good health. That's what I'm saying. I, I told you. Very interesting that you having these symptoms. How long ago did these start? The moment you got on the island? No. Or land or a few days in? It was about... Doc, a... you still need me? Okay, if, if, I, if I yell, we'll come running, otherwise you're fine. Yeah, that. Do your thing. I'd say it's about a week or two in. Hey, you need about a week or two in? Shot, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, what? Sorry. Um, if you need I anything, just, just split the difference. It's interesting that these... Thanks, Rick. You want some, like, think, cold water or something? I think the fact that no, remission I'll, has happened... I think I'll be locking around. You could be okay. Just... But I, do, I would like to take a sample of your blood, so yeah, I can inspect I'll be, I'll be it back. further. That sounds right, good. Man. You just okay, you're okay with me drawing some of your blood? Out of eye, but yeah, sure. Just come find me, right? Alright. If it means I could potentially get some help. Okay, this may hurt a bit. And stick. Just a little prick. Almost done. Almost, 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 and that should be it. Easy peasy. Alright. So I'll get this looked at. Get some more information on it. See All what right. I can find out for you. And then I guess we'll have another meeting in a day. A for day. your best. Yeah. Yep. I can hang around. Is there anything you need in the, need in the meantime? No, I'm just, you know, the main thing was telling the story, telling all the symptoms, and the blood test was to show you that I ain't, I wasn't fucking around. I was telling the truth. Oh, you're fine. I, I would have conducted one anyway, just to make sure there's nothing else wrong with you anyway. So. All right. I'm just going to put this over here in this box and leave a note next to it so I know. Uh, sorry, I blacked out for a sec. Is he good to go, or, or should I have my weapon out still? Uh, you're fine, Paris. He hasn't. He's not showing any signs of anything right now. Now, and he's not sick. Okay, at all, so. then. Cheers. Care to your wrist? You should probably put a lock on this safe. It's not locked. Not. Doctor, get you sorted. Yeah, you said he'll meet me in a day to have another meeting. Okay. Okay, that'd be good. Are you busy? Um. Personally, I was about to head out to get lumber, but I'm not busy right this second. I made it. Well, I was just... I just wanted to have a talk to you about all, uh, all of this. We're just gonna kill Ask you some questions you and stuff. Okay. Like half it might take yeah, a while, so you may want to get your lumber first. Uh... He made it half ass. Well, how long are you gonna be around? I will punch uh, you. I could face. probably send those to As you? long as it takes me just to ask you those questions, then I'll... Okay, yeah, well, I'll see about having a conversation first. I do have to be in the area to meet with Doc again soon. Oh, yeah, uh... Yeah, okay. We can talk in the apartment. Um... Hey, so he wants to have a quick conversation yeah. with me. Uh, don't know exactly how long it's gonna take, but, um... If those other two wanna go out and get the lumber, I can drop the tools if they still need them. And then I'll join y'all as soon as... I'll join them as soon as I'm ready. They should both have tools. You're the... you're the boss lady, you tell them. No, I'm just, I'm letting you know, okay? Okay, so I'm getting uh, pulled into something again. So if you guys need me to pass <laughs> you the tools that I have, I will be back to help with the lumber eventually. Um, but I really appreciate y'all's help. Uh, I'll yell at Perry and have him help. Uh, uh, one sec. Perry. Somewhere over there. 
feeling okay? Feeling better at all? I'm a lot better, yeah. Take the mask, as much as me. Harry! I think he's talking right now. Uh, if you could just, uh, the two of you could pass on the message to Mr. Perry because I think he's talking to Doc right now. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. Uh, Brian, if you want to follow me, we can go talk up from my room. It'd be good as place as any, I suppose. I guess. I don't really uh, have any furniture up here, but it's away from people and quiet, so there's that. That's just what I, that's what <laughs> I, I need I'm going to sit right on the floor. I'll just close the one that so you're not stuck in here. So, uh, so, if you remember, I told you a while ago, back down to Belota, actually, um, about how I, I was planning on uh, starting my own group. And then I got thinking about this place. Um, my my number one question is, uh, like, what exactly y'all are? What's your game here? Like, what are y'all doing? Um, essentially, we're a humanitarian group. Um, humanitarian relief. We're from like Sanctuary Incorporated, so corporate basically. Uh, those chapters all over the world, and uh, they send different uh, groups of humanitarian aid to help places especially like war touch places things like that places that are more affected um and so we were sent out here not that crazy long ago but um big goal is uh we're going to be starting up a actual i guess settlement here we'll be taking in people civilians uh like well i guess they'd be like citizens i keep mixing those two words up um but we'll be taking in citizens, things like that. People will be able to apply for citizenship. Uh, we're still working all the details out, ironing it out and everything. Uh, but in the near future, everything will be readily available for people to uh, learn a little more about the process and more about us and whatnot. Um, so that's kind of a big picture. I really like the sound of that. Do you? Yeah, it's do all, be a lot of work. But. Do, do you all just want to focus on here, or do you all y'all want to have power projection on the wider area? How do you mean on a power projection? My plan, what I wanted to do, me and Samuel, we were talking. You know, you hear all about bandits everywhere. Guys like Foxtrot and all them. I was planning on having a, a, a peacekeeping militias of sorts. And it would have been a lot like what you guys are doing for humanitarian purposes. Keeping people out of harm's way by dealing with the unsavory folks. And I remember yeah, I, so I offered you a, I offered you to join. I, I gave you an invitation, but y'all, you obviously have your hands full here. <laughs> yes, sir. And so, that's more or less what I mean. Like, do y'all do you want to, are y'all trying to, like, you know, keep people safe or just want to give them a safe place to be, which is be here? So, we, a little bit of both, I suppose, um, in a way. We're working on making some alliances um, with other people with like-minded goals. I will hold a little meeting with, uh, cause I don't like when just, you know, one person is in charge. Like, I'm technically the person in charge, but I like to have a team, you know, discuss things and whatnot. Um, I, I will talk to them and, uh, a couple of other people that I have in mind, um, about what you're proposing, because if everybody's in agreement then we could have a little bit of a meeting, making sure that, um, you know, everybody's in agreement, everybody's got everything down, um, we can talk, discuss, uh, you know, talk about what type of agreements we want to do and whatnot, but um, that is something that we're kind of dabbling into a little bit, we've, we've made a couple, a little, a little bit of alliances in actually, like, that's pro the primary goal of said alliances, so... It is definitely something I'm interested in, but I just want to uh, be able to talk to the team about it a little and 
and the uh, if we could arrange a meeting. All with, right, I can... uh, certain members. And, yeah. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna talk to my team and then talk to the other like-minded group, um, uh, and then we can arrange some sort of discussion because, like, my my group personally, we're not. Like, we have some people that are, you know, used to be in the military, things like that, of course, because a lot of people have been in the military these days. Uh, but our main focus, we are not a soldier group or, you know, militia, that type of thing. We are humanitarians, first and foremost. Um, so peacekeeping is more so, like, we, we definitely want to be on at least neutral or good terms with everybody that we can be, of course. Uh, you know, situations will force us to not be, but eh, hopefully we're, we're trying to avoid all that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, I'll talk to the people i got to talk to about it, and then uh, I'll get in touch with you on the radio. Just, uh, I'm not going to mention any of this on the radio, but I'll let you know about a, a meeting, um, something like that, that we can, and then we'll talk about it all in person again so that it's uh, a little bit safer than radio and whatnot. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for your hospitality. Absolutely. I'm Not gonna, a problem. Like I said. I'm going to remain in the area so I could meet with Doc sure later, thing. as I said. Yeah, it, eventually we're going to have, like, little uh, lodging for people. Um, like, places that, like, if you don't necessarily want to live here, but you want to stay for temporarily things like that <laughs> then that'll be available but as you can see we're still building stuff so that sounds wonderful yeah. just uh, holler when you need through the gate and uh, somebody will come get you all right i forgot to get my guns out of doc's chest i'm gonna go do that real quick oh yeah, yeah. Why do i have so many door kits i have no idea Uh, Doc's still in there. You can see. I don't know. How, does anyone know how to make these drying racks? You should probably make, like, just a whole wall of these. Uh, I don't need a whole wall. All that needle would go bad. No one's in here. I you just need, like, uh, well, I mean, three, a, a good, need, like, three equally long sticks. A good, good kill gives you more meat than some of these can hold. Yeah, but you also don't want to overstock it, because even if it's dry, right. it'll go bad eventually. You got your, uh, your stuff? Yeah, I got my stuff. Oh. But also, I don't know how many mouths you guys are going to end up feeding. The answer to that question well, is simple. I just want to yes. thank y'all. I want to thank y'all for your hospitality. Alright, friend. I'm always happy to help. I mean, wait a second. Hold, uh, Hold up. Hold up. Uh... I didn't catch your name, but wait there for a sec. Uh, Doc, can I can I talk to the, the members of the sanctuary for a sec privately? Wait one sec. Oh, y'all did. Yep, go for it. <laughs> I wonder what they could be talking about. <laughs> Beats me. <laughs> Probably trying to get out of paying me for the next load. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I hope it ain't me. Ugh. All right, so we had a little talk. We have a proposition for you. Uh, the way that you came in over there yeah. has a little bit of a segregated off area. We could do some sort of medical quarantine almost. You'd be free to leave. All we would ask is that um, you wouldn't wander into the compound without somebody, I, I'm saying this as delicately as possible, somebody to be with you just to make sure if you pass out or anything I'll with your medical condition. she doesn't want to without, without an armed guard. It would make us feel better let, let, let me personal. Think, let, me, let me just break down what we're saying. It's possible you're either infected or immune. Both things I, are important. Should you die out there with immunities that cost everyone alive a big hit? If you turn in the main compound, you could butt someone else. You understand? So I we don't you. want you to leave if you are immune, but we don't want you in the main compound if you're infected. 
However, this would be completely voluntary. We're not trying to say yeah, that you have to stay or nothing. Yeah. I can build you a real nice house, though. Yeah, we can uh, make it comfortable for you. A uh, nice. Did your house give you a bed? Only if I'm free to leave. Wait, wait, did he? Wa yeah, you're completely yeah, free to leave if you wish. I'm. Yeah, I'm I'll give you. I'll I'm give perfectly you the code. fine. I'll give you the code for the. If y'all. Outermost. If gate. it makes y'all comfortable, Boom. I'm fine with having an armed guard. But as long as I'm free to leave. Yeah, I'm nobody can, here will stop you from leaving. I can take care of myself out there. Yeah. It's a low risk of me dying out there. We would just feel we would we would prefer it if you'd stay close by, so that way we can look out for you and help you and find out what's going on. But we don't want to keep you trapped. Yeah, absolutely. So if you want a room, we offer you a room and a bed and someone to place, place your head. That's safer than sleeping out in the open. I did just tell him our uh, bit of a goal of our group uh, filled the beans a bit about the uh, the settlement possibility, things like that that we're working on because we were talking a little bit of business. So he is Oh, it ain't even a possibility no more. Well, yeah, yeah it's much to. more than a possibility, but... See, you want to scare Come on, Thorn. See, he's got a knife. I'm Children. Scared. Children. All right, all right. Settle down. If you, want to come, if you want to come look at the rooms, we can give you a little geezer what you'd be saying if you choose to stay. All right. Also, gentlemen, yeah, you please got be aware of how you're saying it. Don't circle our guests, okay? Yeah, you got a water pump. A you got, you know, a little church if you're religious. Don't mind the scarecrow that's stuck in the ground. There was a, a, a slight mishap with the concrete on the floor. Oh, no. it, didn't, uh, it did not go according to plan. <laughs> it sunk in. Yeah, that's what I get for hiring some Russians, but, you know, <laughs> it works. I call him Dwarfy the Scarecrow. Oh, I like it. I think he's kind of build character. You drew a so face take... on him. You can take yeah, one of the rooms on this board. floor, on the second floor, or you can choose to be stair goblin, and we can build you a stair bedroom. <laughs> I am not building him a stair bedroom. He is a human being, not know. Harry Potter. If he if he wants it, that's his decision. Who the hell is Harry Potter? Seriously, what the hell yeah, was that, Rick? It was this kid I grew up down the street from. He uh, he lived under the stairs in a little like cabinet thing. It was really weird. He was confusing. Yeah, with a name like Harry Potter, oh. I imagine that they would fucking live. Sounds like he does a lot of drugs. He probably does, honestly. Let me look at he was kind of a druggie when I left. Yeah, look around. Yeah. Personally, I would recommend one of the ones over on uh, over on this side over here. Because they're, uh, they're a little bit bigger. I can build you like a nice bed, a table, a, a chest to store your stuff in. <laughs> Let me look upstairs. This one has a window, at that, least. That fucked me up. Yeah, if you like the view, I mean, you would technically be one of... Where'd you go? You would technically be one of Sanctuary's first residents. I'm the... I'm Holiday. I know we met once before, but I'm kind of like the engineer around here, so I do all the, the buildy buildy stuff. Alright. And yell at people for not gathering my goddamn planks. But it's... It's totally your call. I mean, you'd have the code oh, for the back gate, so... What's that? Everyone's going to bed. Oh. You could, uh, you could just drive out if you were ever, you know, feeling unhappy or just didn't right. like it here anymore. It, it'd be more like if I, if my friends and, uh, my colleagues, friend sounds a little, uh, bit unprofessional if we, if we felt like we had a mission to do. Yeah, I mean, there ain't, there ain't nothing saying that you couldn't. I mean, Sanctuary is a good place. Everybody here is really good people. Ez is awesome. Seems a pretty good doctor when he's not yelling at me to sit down. But, y'all, it, it's kind of like a democracy here. I mean, like, Ez, Ez and me and, and the other, like, department heads, we kind of hold the last say, but everything's voted on. I Real like peaceful. that a lot, actually. Yeah, I mean, like we do have we do have some rules and regulations. Like, it, it, if you guys, if you people that aren't it, part of the departments, guess something and we think it, it doesn't belong, we can veto it. But you know, not without a discussion at least. So it, it's kind of a democracy, but it's also kind of a republic. Only you didn't really elect your representatives. That's a bad analogy. I'm I'm bad at this whole like talking thing. 
sounds a lot like how I envisioned how I would start my group. Yeah, I mean, you guys would be citizens, so you'd be able to come and go as you wish, and, you know, you'd have the code for that, that back area. That that area up front is kind of just for, like, the department heads and all that, but... But we got, like, we got a doctor, we got me, the engineer, you know, we got a... We got a farmer, we got a, an archivist, he does righty thingies, we got a, a photographer, we got all kinds of cool people. You have a man bad pig? Yeah, we have that guy too. He's he's a little funny, but he's kind of he's he's cool if you're nice to him. Sorry to interrupt, you, but I'm going a, on a lumber run. I'm taking just a picture of my chauffeur. I'll be back. Yes, ma'am. Okay, love you. Bye. Thank you for gathering planks. Yep. Anyway, we'll leave you to think and do what you need to do, and uh, yeah, just let us know. I will do. I'll leave that, uh, are you planning on taking off right away, or are you sticking around for a little bit? Um, I'm probably gonna get off so I can tell my other people about what happened here, so we can start talking right. about it. Uh, if you want, right. I'll open the this new gate so you can drive your car on out. Yeah, yeah, let me do that real quick. Yeah. It's very laggy right now. Hey, good. Take care, friend. If you, if y'all don't have any food to offer me, I'm probably gonna go try to find some food in the towns nearby. We can, we can give you some if you need food. That'll be nice, so I don't have to go far. Yeah, I'm checking in your car for you. Alright, there you go. It's in your car. All right. A bit of meat and a chocolate bar. Or not, I can't quite remember. All right, I will be back soon. Take care, you, friend. When you call me. Yeah, yeah no, all right. All right.